This makes the narcissist ignore you. The narcissist will ignore you when they hope that it will be more harmful than arguing with you. Being ignored can be a very painful experience. It creates feelings of self-doubt, feeling a lack of control, and feeling not worthy of attention, which are all of the things that they want you to feel, because it makes them feel important and in control, which they might not otherwise feel if they were arguing with you. So they will ignore you. They will avoid direct eye contact with you. They will walk quickly away from you. They will look closed off. They will have a creepy blank look on their face to discourage you from making eye contact. They will keep themselves busy. They will use their phone and they will play music. And they will message and call everyone else, but they will ignore you. They will give you the cold shoulder whenever you try to communicate with them. They will be persistent in their attitude to you, to make you believe that it's your normal behaviour. But it's not because they don't want your attention. They have a hidden motive. And they are using reverse psychology to get your attention which may make you feel very confused because if you wanted someone's attention you would just talk to them but they can't just talk to you because they already feel rejected they feel as though you have dismissed them as inadequate, unacceptable or defective and that is why they're ignoring you because they want to make you feel how they feel and they couldn't achieve that by arguing with you so they chose to ignore you instead. They presumed that it would be more effective, because maybe it's more effective than them, which is why they're using it with a hidden motive to get your attention and to make you notice them, because they already feel like they're being ignored. They feel like you're not giving them the special acknowledgement and attention that they deserve. They perceived something you said or did as disrespect, as though you disregarded them as though you failed to pay attention to them because in their minds you were too prideful or you felt like you were too good for them and it made them feel unworthy of your consideration or respect so now they want to disrespect you because they feel like you disrespected them which causes them to ignore you to where they will pretend like you don't exist because maybe you told them no or maybe you rejected them narcissists are very arrogant and prideful they want to feel special they want to feel like they're the best so any situation where they feel slighted or where they feel like they're not receiving the praise and recognition they think they deserve could cause them to feel disrespected even though you may not have intended to disrespect them and you may not have done anything to them but this is all going on in their minds they perceived it as disrespect because in their minds they're special so they feel entitled to privileges and special treatment they expect you to bow down to them they expect you to show weakness. They expect you to agree to their demands and follow their orders. And agree that they are more powerful than you. Because if you don't, they will feel disrespected. They will feel offended and upset. Which is why so many victims are walking on eggshells around the narcissist. Because narcissists are very fragile and insecure. So anything you say or do could potentially set them off. All they have to do is take it the wrong way. It could even be something that is out of your control.
because it's all determined by their emotional state which is regulated by their narcissistic supply so if they're not receiving adequate amounts of supply you're going to have a very difficult time dealing with them and anything you say or do could potentially be perceived as disrespect to where they may then respond by ignoring you because they feel insecure they feel a lack of confidence or anxiety about themselves so they ignore you to regain control because they feel like they have lost control so it stabilizes their mood it makes them feel more secure within themselves while they would normally feel insecure by interacting with you because then they would feel like you have the power they would feel like you are in control so they take control back by ignoring you or by giving you the silent treatment because they have an arrested emotional development they cannot deal with things like an adult and it's not because you're doing something to them it's not because you're a danger to them or because you're harming them it's because you've caught them doing something wrong you've caught them cheating or you've caught them being toxic or abusive and you're trying to hold them accountable even for people who are not narcissists accepting blame and responsibility can be difficult but for narcissists it's almost impossible they never take accountability or responsibility for the things they do they will blame anyone else for their wrongdoing they will say that you made them do it or they will say that they had no other choice they will put everything on to you as though you don't understand their problems or situation until you are left defending yourself and despite how much you may have done for them already you will always be the one who is left having to do more because they are mentally ill they will not be accountable for themselves they want to be seen as a perfect person who can't do anything wrong so they will lie deny deflect blame shift project and gaslight but they will never take accountability for themselves they will never hold themselves responsible for honest or ethical conduct they will never show any obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for their actions they will hold you accountable for things all day and they will expect you to conform and meet certain standards or requirements for them but they will not hold those same standards of behavior for themselves they will not show up they will not set out to accomplish the things they said they were going to do they will not be the person they said they were going to be because there's just no one there everything is a facade and they have no incentive to change when you're holding a narcissist accountable they struggle to acknowledge their guilt or shame due to their exaggerated sense of self-importance and lack of empathy when you trigger these unpleasant feelings they will use various defense mechanisms such as projection rationalization or blame shifting because they don't want to be vulnerable they have an arrested emotional development they're not emotionally mature enough to deal with it which is why if you're really on to them and you're cornering them on something they will ignore you and by doing that they are essentially abandoning themselves they're splitting and they're taking on a new identity somewhere else a false identity that has nothing to do with who they actually are the remnants or fragments of their true self 
become nothing but a painful memory to you. Because no matter what, they must believe that they're good people. Which erodes any sense of identity in them. Because of course a lot of the things they do are not good. And they are actually very harmful to people. Which is why this is something they're very insecure about. And so they will ignore you to regain control of the situation. Because you're holding them accountable. You're trying to get them to own themselves. You're trying to get them to accept their own actions or behaviours. And they just don't want anything to do with themselves. So they don't want anything to do with you. It's like you are the keeper of their true self. Because you are a witness. You are the recipient of what they did to you. You received a part of what they had to offer. They purged a quality, condition or feeling that they had. And they gave it to you. Because they didn't want to accept that it was a part of them. But then you become a reminder of what they did to you. Especially when you don't believe in their lies. Or when you're constantly holding them accountable. So then they just don't want to deal with you. Because really they don't want to deal with themselves. But over it narcissists may rage. They may yell and scream at you instead of ignoring you because they need your reaction. They want to use you as a vessel to contain their feelings of shame, guilt or fear. And they may not even be aware of what they're doing. But this is why they get worse as they age. This is why they become angrier and more intolerable. Because they're not trying to get better. They're not trying to improve. They become even more selfish and greedy. Because they become even better liars and manipulators. So no matter how much people change, adapt or sacrifice to the narcissist. It doesn't make them better people. It just makes them better narcissists. The narcissist will ignore you as a form of reverse psychology to create a void in you so that it makes you want them. And if you call or text them, it just lets them know that their plan is working. It tells them that they are in control. They make you want them by ignoring you, by pretending that you don't exist. They will read your messages so that you will receive a read receipt. Just to mess with your mind. To further open up this void that they have created in you. Because they want you to feel the way that they feel. They live with a void every day. They feel completely empty inside. And this is why they want you to feel empty. This is why they want you to feel vacant, unoccupied, uninhabited, abandoned deserted, without contents, containing nothing. To where life seems aimless, meaningless and worthless. Because that's exactly how it feels for them, every waking moment of their lives. And yet, they will ignore you to have you reaching out to them. To where you're then asking them if there's a problem or if you can make things better, if you can see them again. And by doing that you're just giving more and more of yourself, you're filling up their void. And you're deepening the void that they have created within you. So things don't get better, because why would they want it to stop? You're filling up their void and it's emptying all of the strength and energy out of you. So it just makes them feel better, and it makes you want them more. Until you're begging and pleading for them. And it makes you look desperate. Which just makes them feel better and better. It makes them feel more like how you felt before you got involved with them. 
while you start feeling more and more like them. Because you're giving yourself to them. While they have nothing to give to you. All they have is a void. And no matter how much you pour into it, it's always going to leak out. So all they can think about is how they can get you to invest as much as possible into them. While they reciprocate as little as possible into you. Because while they may be hungry, it's like they can't afford to eat. They haven't got the currency, the medium of exchange. They have no self-love. They lack accountability. So there's just no self. They have no self to give to you. So you're giving more and more of yourself to them. Thinking that it will get better. But it doesn't get better. It just makes them even more mad. It makes them resent you. Because you have it to give. They're jealous of you. They're jealous of your autonomous independent being. They want to make you dependent on them because they're dependent on you. And they despise your innocence. They hate how you so willingly and voluntarily trust to confide in them. Of your own volition and free will in a consenting and cheerful way. Because it's not like that for them. They wear a mask not only to deceive you but also to protect themselves. Because they don't think anyone would do anything out of the goodness of their hearts for them. And when you so innocently open your heart to them, they can't stand it. Because they know that you would never do that if you knew the real them. They know you wouldn't do anything if you could see the monster hiding beneath the mask. And this is why they play these games. This is why they mess with your head. To distort your vision and make you think you're seeing something else. While simultaneously seeking to humble you. Because they don't want you to realise that you deserve better than them. When you're elevated in life. They feel like you're leaving them behind. They see you as a perfect person with no faults. But by this point they've already done so many things wrong. So they can no longer perceive themselves as perfect when they're around you. Because you still remember all of the things they've done to you. So when they see you elevating. It really makes them feel small. And it makes them want to pull you down. cause your self-esteem and importance to be decreased and they will typically try to achieve this by ignoring you to show you that you are not better than them and that you should not be acting in such a confident and proud way because they're not happy with what you've done they're not happy that you're making them feel small and insignificant they already felt that way that's why they're abusing you to feel better about themselves until you started confronting them because you realized that how they were treating you was not right which made them come back down to earth it caused them to return to reality for a moment where they then had to reflect on the things that they had done because you responded practically honestly and directly which is something that they are allergic to because it destroys their illusions and it pulls them back down to reality which is why they then have to ignore you and they will ignore anything that is associated with your success or accomplishments anything that makes you you anything that you have achieved anything that you worked hard for they will ignore all of it they will act like it doesn't exist. They will say that you cheated or that you don't deserve it. To put you in your place. 
and to make your success about them. So that they become the centre of attention in your moments of success. Because all of the light is on you and they can't stand it. They want everyone to be focused on them. But they have no light of their own. So they have to take your light from you. Until they degrade and demean the meaning of success. They redefine the words. Until it becomes more about showing contempt and disrespect. Humiliating and shaming you. Debasing, cheapening and devaluing you. While riding your wave and ignoring you. Until finally. They discard you and they get rid of you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.